Hello, my name is Jay Simmons. I am a software engineer in the Active Directory team here at Microsoft. I'm here today to demo for you a new Windows Labs disaster recovery feature. This new feature is only currently available in Windows 11 uh, pre-release builds, but you can download any recent Insider build from that channel and try this feature out right now. So what is the feature all about? Uh, as many of you know, the default when storing Windows Labs passwords in on-premise Active Directory is to store them using encryption. The encryption is based on uh, group SID DP API encryption. And in order to decrypt those passwords, the client normally needs to contact a running domain controller that can then supply, after authorization, a decryption key, which the client can then use to decrypt the password. Okay, that's great so far. What happens when all of the domain controllers are down? In other words, you're faced with a catastrophic uh, domain down type situation. Now, many customers pointed this out to us and said, you know, okay, what's, what's, what's our best solution here uh, if we're using Windows Labs to secure critical machine account, a critical local admin accounts on critical clients, as well as the DSRM account on our domain controllers? We didn't have a great answer for, the, for that before, other than, other than to advise that uh, customers make backups of these passwords in an offline data store. However, now we have a new solution for this that we think you're really going to like. The new solution is based around the fact that all IT admins that run Active Directory environments are already accustomed and cust are already accustomed to uh, taking regular backups of their AD domain controllers. Now, if you think about it, the decryption keys for Windows Labs passwords are already stored in Active Directory. So they're also there in the Active Directory backup image. It's just that it's not easy to access them in, term to, in order to decrypt the passwords. And so that's what we've done here. So the way this demo is designed is that you can imagine that the, the machine in front of you is a single, a simple workgroup machine. This is just a simple Windows Insider pre-release build that I recently downloaded that is not joined to either Active Directory or Microsoft Entra. And we've magically transported a AD backup image to this machine. Okay, great. So how does this feature work? Well, the, the, first, thing we, the, way, the first thing we need to do is mount the database. So you'll notice that uh, we, we do have to be a local administrator in order to successfully mount and query the database, but you know we're on a worker machine, so this isn't hard to accomplish. Now the second part of this feature is in a, in a new in, a, <clears throat> is in some improvements we've made to the GitLabs AD password commandlet. So as as you know, this pet commandlet has always had the ability to bind to a running um, AD snapshot browser to retrieve passwords. And when it did that, it would retrieve the encrypted password from the AD snapshot browser and then contact a running domain controller for the decryption key. We've, we've improved the recovery mode behavior of this commandlet so that it doesn't do that. It gets all the information it needs from the running AD snapshot browser, the DSA main.exe. So let's take a look at this. So you can see there that what we're doing is we're asking for the lapse password for the WS2025 client machine, binding to port 50,000 on the local machine. We're using recovery mode, which as I mentioned, is the key to this whole feature. And we're asking them to return the password in plain text. And as you can see there, we've successfully gotten it out. And there's the name of the account on that machine. And in this case, we're using the new uh, passphrase feature that's also available in Windows Server 2025 and Windows 11 24H2.
Now, I just want to reiterate what just happened here. We successfully recre- retrieved and decrypted a DP API encrypted piece of data from an 80 snapshot browser, even though there are zero domain controllers running and this required zero interaction off box. The entire operation occurred locally. So we can also run this again for uh, a saved DSRM account. And you can see that we have it there. So this is an encrypted DSRM password. In this case, the name is just the plan administrator and the, the DSRM account is still using the traditional style password. So with this in mind, we think this feature brings a, uh, a, le- a, a level of assurance and confidence to IT admins that n- no matter what happens, as long as they've been taking regular AD backup images of their domain controllers, all of their Windows Labs passwords will be available at any point from those backups with very little work required. Uh, thank you very much.